morning, good morning. Welcome into my channel. We just got up here a little while ago, finished our logbook and everything, went to the washroom and washed the face and all that stuff, you know. Now we're ready to go. It's already uh, five minutes to nine o'clock. So at nine o'clock we can go. And I uh, figured just do a little short clip here before I get going. And uh, yeah, so uh, we had our 10 hour break. And uh, it's actually pretty warm up here. Yeah. So I guess we will make our way down to Brandon right now. Got to. Uh, got to go down there so do our delivery probably gonna be a little late to what the satellite says that we're supposed to be there but yeah we'll make it I think so well, let's get on our way yeah look at that nice big moose jaw sign up there yeah we are just coming into moose jaw right now and uh, it's not far from uh, Karen Port where I left this morning but Figured, you know, show you moose jaw a little bit. You know, it's a, not really a big town, especially here on Highway 1. Speed warning. But, uh, hey, if you blink twice, uh-oh, uh-oh, I just saw that camera there on the side flash. Yeah, they got these cameras up here, right? If you're speeding through here, get a ticket right and I just saw that camera flash huh. yeah first time I seen that yeah I guess Saskatchewan is short on money they got to uh, put up these cameras get your tickets if you're speeding through here yeah I guess we better start watching our speed going through uh, Saskatchewan right Anyways, what I was saying is uh, right here on Highway 1, the, the town doesn't look that big, but I think it's bigger than it looks here on Highway 1, but if you blink twice, pretty much you miss it, right? Yeah. Anyways, we're going to go down to Regina. We got another 75 kilometers to go to Regina. And then we will fuel up over there. Because I'm down to about a quarter of a tank of fuel. I need to go and get some fuel. Yeah. So we'll go fuel up and then uh, make our way down to Brandon. Well, we just had ourselves a pit stop here in Regina. Fueled up. Walked over to the McDonald's there and grabbed me a cup of practice burrito and the orange juice no we're giving her yep talk to the wife and she says it's pretty cold in Manitoba so <clears throat> I'll be uh, looking into getting a cold uh, weekend I looked it up on the internet too and it's supposed to be really cold on Saturday, so... Yikes! I'm glad we, we have stuff planned for the weekend. Probably won't be doing any barbecuing, but we'll be doing something. Yep. Anyways. We'll keep her rolling here. Here we go. We are just entering Manitoba. Yes, sir, we are. Look at that blue sign up there to the right. That's a beautiful sign. That means I am in my home province again. That, in essence, means I'm about yeah, four hours away from home. Yes. And it's one o'clock in the afternoon, Central Standard Time. And I got to do my delivery in Brandon, obviously, first. But if I were to just continue on driving, I would be home in about five o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. But we got to do that delivery, so uh, we'll go do that and drop our trailer in Winnipeg at the customer. And 
Yeah, so we should be home probably early after uh, early evening. But I figured I would do a couple of shoutouts uh, to some of my subscribers and stuff like that. So uh, I figured I would give a shout out to uh, 42 Northside. He's up there in Ontario. He's a regular viewer and I appreciate all the encouragement that he leaves me comments down below on the videos. He gives me all kinds of encouragements and uh, positive uh, comments and stuff like that. So uh, just wanted to give you a shout out and say thank you for uh, writing me nice comments like that. And uh, that, I just wanted to say that's one of the reasons why I uh, I do this, ch uh, you know, do this uh, YouTube thing here, you know. I do enjoy making videos, and I, I do enjoy, it especially if, if people are appreciated of what I do, and, and uh, write me nice comments like that. Because let's face it, there's always people that, uh, you know, don't care for for you too much and I just heard yesterday a friend of mine saying that even from our company drivers there was a few of them apparently said something to him that they didn't like very much what I was doing but you know what I don't really care you can hate me you can whatever you want you cannot like me you can get out of you know out of the way when I come somewhere or whatever I don't really care. I make it for those people that want to watch my video, and that's just the way it's going to be. If you don't want to watch my video, that's okay. And even if you uh, don't like my videos very much, or if you talk bad about my videos and stuff, that still means you are watching my videos. Yep. And I figured I would also give a shout out to uh, Trucker Jerry. Uh, he's got his own YouTube channel there too. I know I gave him a shout out there the other day and uh, I know he's going through some rough times right now so I figure I give him a shout out and uh, hopefully I can get him encouraged a little bit and uh, get his uh, energy back up there again and, and hopefully we can get him happy again. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping he will make some videos again. I haven't seen any videos lately from him and that's probably because of that. He's going through some rough times. So uh, hopefully you guys will go on this channel too and encourage him. And you know, he, he can certainly use the encouragement just like I can. And who can forget my good friend uh, Trucker Jukebox. Yes, who can forget about him? I can. I think of him every day. Yeah. I mean, he's become a real good friend of mine, and uh, I talked to him yesterday on the phone and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you're watching this video, I give you a thumbs up every day. Yes, I like your videos. And, uh, yeah, so he was saying he's, uh, he's going to see if he gets his glasses today. And if he does, he's going to go to orientation on Monday. Which I know it's going to be a week from today when you watch the video, but hey. That's alright, if you uh, finish your orientation by the time you watch this video, well, God bless you. At least that means uh, you'll probably be uh, on the road by this time, or, or, or uh, you know, next weekend or something like that. You might be back on the road. Yeah. And then also my, uh, my brother-in-law up in Paraguay. His name is uh, Jake, Jacob Driediger. We say in German, Jakob. Yes. I thank him for watching. I know his English is not very good, but thanks for watching anyways, Jacob. Yeah, so uh, we'll put the hammer down and uh, we'll be in Brandon soon. We got about an hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes and we should be there. Yeah, all depending on how many lights there's going to be. 
There are not going to be too many lights. We should be there in about an hour and 20 minutes, I say. Here we are, downtown Brandon, Manitoba. Yep, that's it. This is a memory lane for me called Victoria Avenue. This is where I used to go down a lot the last couple of months that I drove for Big Freight. I used to do flat deck for Big Freight, a company called Big Freight. And this is where we had to go down a lot to go to a company called Balin. Up here in, uh, in Brandon, just on this side of Brandon here, there is a, a uh, company that makes all kinds of tanks for Belong farmers and stuff. Turn right on. 11th Street East. So, uh, I am very familiar with this area. Ah, even there on the left, you're going to be seeing a uh, metal tank. Yeah, that's the kind of tanks I used to haul all the time, except they weren't put together yet. Yeah, that's what I used to do for Big Freight. Right here on the left, you see a big metal tank. Yeah, that's the type of stuff that I used to haul, but... Anyways, uh... It's just down the road up here and that's uh, memory lane for me. That's been over five years ago since I used to do that. Yeah, that was my uh, my first job that I had working for Big Freight. Uh, not my first job that I had. What I meant to say is my first job as a trucking company. Yeah. Anyways, just down around the corner here is where we got to deliver. So I'll be back once I'm done. Hey, here we go. That didn't take very long to get Side unloaded dot, dot, over there. Canada Highway, Highway yeah. One. Half an hour and we're out of there. Not long at all. Yeah, so we're almost back on Highway One again. We'll be out of town here right away, anyways. We are two and a half hours pretty much to Winnipeg. Continue on this road so, for 189 kilometers. We should be in Winnipeg in not that much time. It's Friday afternoon. What better day to come home than that, right? That's what I would say. Well, let's put the hammer down. Let's get going real fast. Well, if you are familiar with this area, you would know where I am coming into right now. Yes. And I am certainly aware of where this is. And I'm going to say welcome to Winnipeckers. Yeah, welcome everybody. Yeah, this is what you're going to see if you come into Winnipeg. This is your first glimpse of Winnipeg. Well, I guess you call it Headingley up here, but to me it technically is... Well, I don't know technically, but to me it is part of Winnipeg. Just called something different. That's all it is to me. But we are about 20 clicks away from uh, my drop, where I dropped this trailer at. And I'm telling you, we will be beelining home from there. Yeah, it's about another hour to go home from here, where I deliver. Yeah, so I'll be beelining for Slide home. Right on Portage Avenue, Highway 1. Definitely. It was starting to get pretty windy there for the last, uh, I don't know, half an hour. And a little bit past Portage there, it was starting to get, get pretty windy. And, well, they're calling for a pretty cold day tomorrow, so I guess uh, it's going to have to blow in the cold air from somewhere, right? Yep. We got the Husky truck stop up here on the left and a couple of miles down the road there uh, we got uh, Flying J there on the right so uh, yeah anyways tomorrow's Valentine's Day happy Valentine's Day I guess for everybody I know it's gonna be almost a week late but yeah well that's just the way my videos go. I'm always one week behind. And I do that for several reasons. One of the reasons is that way nobody knows exactly where I'm at at any given time. And the other reason is uh, 
I don't have Wi-Fi internet everywhere. So uh, I have no to action. wait till I can find a place where I can uh, get internet, right? So I can upload these videos for you. But we had an internet person uh, from Shaw in today and they're upgrading our internet so I should have even faster internet at home so once I get home I'll be uploading a bunch of videos tonight so uh, we'll see how fast that is going to be it's supposed to be uh, I think it's supposed to be twice as fast as what it is right now so I'm going to be testing my internet speed tonight yeah if I can usually you know if I can do a regular run that I usually do well I don't know if you can call it regularly but uh, if I do like a normal run I'd be usually I'm gone uh, for six seven days and then I'm home right so if I can upload one or two movies on the road I'm usually good but this trip I needed to do more than that so uh, I actually had to hunt for Wi-Fi so but we made it happen that's all the cones and I don't have one up yet for tomorrow which is uh, almost a week ago from when the when you watch this but hey we will be home tonight so I'll be uploading videos tonight left and right I got a whole bunch of videos already lined up that need to be uploaded yeah well today is the 13th and so I got the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 so I got pretty much six videos to upload yeah, well that's going to be heavy internet use, internet use uh, over the next two days for sure. Probably today and tomorrow. Yep, yeah. well they built this uh, six hotel up here last year. It wasn't even the year before but it opened I think last year. Yeah, it says free pool or it says pool and free internet. Yeah. Maybe I have to park there sometime. I have free internet. Oh well. Yeah, we got the flying J sign coming up over there. Yeah, up here you can even see a little bit. It's still blowing even here in town a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, look at this sign. Welcome to Winnipeg. Here, I guess, is where officially Winnipeg starts, then, eh? A dollar eight point nine is when you pay uh, up here for diesel. That's a liter. One kilometer. Slide right on. So you do Highway that times uh, times three point seven eight something. I forget exactly what the last number is, but anyways, three point seven eight usually gets you very close. And then you know what it uh, cost up here per gallon. And I know it's way more up here than it is in the United States. So, oh well. And we got a Tim Hortons here just to the left. Just past the stoplight here. Uh, Tim Hortons, our famous Tim Hortons. Yeah, I like them too. Oh, we have officially made it to Steinbach. Just finished dropping my trailer. Yeah, when I dropped my trailer here in Winnipeg, this person sent me a message saying that they uh, they have a preloaded trailer at another customer, so I had to go to the other side of town and pick up a preloaded trailer and bring it to Steinbeck. So uh, we did that. So we just finished doing all that. So, uh, well, here we go. We're going to go home and uh, have a good time with the family. So I guess I'll, sh I'll end this for today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's. And I guess we will see you again then. Thanks for watching.